morning, welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Zeha. I'm a third year medical student in the UK. So for the past three weeks, I had way too many assessments. I had a written clinical knowledge exam. I had to present in two different conferences. And now I'm preparing for the final exam of the third year of medical school ever. So my final exam of the year is a practical exam. In the UK, the practical exams are called OSCEs. So Objective Structured Clinical Examinations. And I have only three days left until I'm officially done with this year. So three days until my OSCEs. And that's why now I'll be taking you with me into campus so we can practice some of the clinical examinations that can come up in the exam. from clinical skills now this morning I was just really refreshing my mind on stuff that I've done before anyway so I just wanted to touch the equipment and play with it one last time if you've seen my previous vlog about the conference week you would have known that I've been going into practice oscies whenever I have time because as you practice more you get more confident in it and the examiner can see that confidence as well so in oscies there are different types of skills that they can ask you about there are examinations communication skills and procedures so what I practiced this morning were procedures such as ECG taking and G-tube insertion or airway management. Now I'll practice some examinations and communication skills with my flatmates. So communication skills are like breaking bad news to a patient whose test results showed cancer. So talking to them and informing them appropriately about their diagnoses or taking histories from patients. So asking them about their past medical history drug history, family history, etc, etc. They're all communication skills. Then we'll move on to examinations, such as cardio exam or hip and shoulder examinations. Now let's get on with it. Great, thank you. You lift them to your sides, get in as high as they can go. Lift them and cross them in front of your body. Now, if you just bend your arms like this, Okay. 
Stacey James. Acromania clavicular joint. Abduction. External rotation. Extension. Internal. Applied. Feel the scapula. Feel it well along the spine. Hello, I'm Zadie Hart. I'm a third year medical student studying at the University of Exeter. Today I've been asked to talk to you about what's brought you in here. Will that be alright? That's okay. Could I just confirm your name and date of birth, please? Perfect. So, James, could you tell me what's brought you in here today? So, for the past couple of days, I've just noticed this sharp pain in my chest. Mm -hmm. I think it comes on when I go up or down the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's worse when you're doing activities and exercising, is that right? Yeah, that's okay. right. And how would you describe this pain? It's just in the centre of my chest. It's like a sharp stabbing mm -hmm. kind of sensation. And if you had to rate this pain from 1 to 10, 10 being the worst pain ever, 1 being no pain, how would you rate this pain? Uh, it's about a 6 out of 10. Hi there, my name is James Forbes. I'm a third year medical student from the University of Exeter. I'd just like to have a chat with you about some of these results that we've just gotten. Yeah. Would that be okay? Yes, that's fine. So to begin with, can I get you to confirm your name and date of birth for me, please? Yes, it's Zeli Hart, you know. Okay, and what would you like to be called? Zeli Hart, it's fine. All right. So what were you expecting to go through today? So I've been told that I could potentially have cancer. So I was just worried about that and they told me to get a scan and now I got a scan. Now I want to know the results, so that's why I'm here. Okay. Are you happy for me to go through those results now? Yes. Great, okay. I'm sorry to say, Zeli Hart, it's not good news. So we did do a scan and unfortunately we found that there is cancer in the thyroid gland. Okay, we're done practicing now. Not gonna lie, I've been kind of feeling stressed about this OSCE. I think it's the fact that this is the last exam of the year and I just don't want to ruin my third year last minute. It's the pressure of wanting to end this year on a good note, which kind of makes me feel anxious, but I know I'm going to be okay and I just can't wait for this to be all over so I can start my summer and get my life back basically. Now I'm going to hang out with some friends, we're going to go into town, get some ice cream, then watch Love Island, just to de-stress and relax from a long day of studying, so that I can keep myself calm and relaxed before the exam, which is very important. I hope this gave you a good insight of how I study for my practical exam as a medical student. If you'd like to see more content from me, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's try and relax before the exam. <laughs> I don't want you to, to worry too much, although this is extremely difficult news. 